We do Disney differently than most people do. We do Disney in two days. So maybe right now you're thinking, two days at Disney? What's the big deal? Honestly, prior to meeting Mel, all I knew was that Disney World was a place people go to spend a lot of money and listen to their kids scream at them. I was wrong. Well, partially. It can be expensive and kids will be kids. However, Disney World isn't just a place, but many places. Four to be exact. But I'll let the Disney princess take it from here. Disney World isn't just one place. It's four. You have Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, and probably the most famous, Magic Kingdom. So when we say we're doing Disney World in just two days, that really means we're going to four theme parks, riding anywhere between 15 to 30 rides, and in the process, making our feet swell up like balloons, clocking in at over 60,000 steps, all in just two days. The first step is catching a flight out of Cleveland to Orlando. Unfortunately, the trip started out with back-to-back -back delays. Following three delays of our flights, we're hopefully finally leaving soon. It was from like 3.30 to 4.16, and then there was a 5 o'clock, then a 5.16, and now 5.40. I, I didn't tell you about the in-between ones. Mm, thanks. Good choice. Good choice. So hopefully we're on the last one here. Um, excited about where we're going, but hopefully we can get there five hours later than we're supposed to be, which sucks, but that's flying. So that's why we drive everywhere. Welcome to Disney World, where dreams come true. Have one. We are back in my favorite place. It's my most expensive place. <laughs> We're back in Disney every December. Secret tip, it's dead in December. If you come the first two weeks of December, there's no one here. After Thanksgiving, before Christmas. Well, typically second weekend this year, we had other obligations, so there's no waits. It's, everything's great. And it's great. all Christmas. The weather's perfect. We sometimes get rain, but typically it's, it's a cool 70. It's not hot like it's in the summer and you don't have the crowds. Yeah, that's great. my new pizza mini ears, we made our way around all 11 countries of Epcot's World Showcase, which includes Mexico, Norway, China, Germany, Italy, United States, Japan, Morocco, France, England, and Canada. And once you're done drinking around the world, you can grab a drink off world by heading over to Space 220, a space themed restaurant that has you boarding a space elevator, which will make sure your dining experience is out of this world. Space 220 can be rather hard to get reservations for, and since we were unable to get them, we did have to wait in line for about an hour. However, it was a really unique experience from start to finish and something we'd like to do again. With astronauts and space debris floating outside of the space station, there's always something going on to keep your attention while you have those out of this world drinks. We had some drinks, which were absolutely delicious, and then grabbed a shuttle right back down to Earth. Animal Kingdom is the shortest park we do. It only has a few rides we prefer to ride, such as both of the Avatar rides and one of my favorites, Dinosaur. However, Animal Kingdom has a really fun nighttime projection show onto the Tree of Life. After catching the projection show, we decided to head back to Epcot just for a little bit. Doing our mad, two, mad dash two down, back, to back to Epcot. Two, back to one. <laughs> We walked fast. Yeah. Day one was definitely a success. We not only completed two parks, but we also had a little bit of time left after Animal Kingdom to head back to Epcot for a bit to knock out another ride and enjoy the engulfing experience that is Epcot. Day one done. We are tired. Long day. We started uh, early, got up around 6, and now it's 10.30. We're pooped. Tired. I've grown up doing Disney since we have been together 10 years. He has now inherited the Disneyness. So day one, Epcot, Animal Kingdom done. Check, check, check. So tomorrow we are up early for Magic Kingdom and then Hollywood, Hollywood Studios. Studios. My favorite. We are tired going to bed. We had about 30,000 steps today, another 30,000 tomorrow, I'm sure. And then probably another 30,000 Saturday. Just die in bed. 
crippled, crippled and, and dead in bed so Sunday. So don't let that sway you from our uh, weekend warrior Disney because if, it's totally worth it. If you are the cleaning staff and you have found this video next to our bodies, there is a couple hundred dollars in cash in my, my wallet uh, that I keep for travel, so please take that and I'm sorry about our bodies. <laughs> Magic Kingdom is one of the most iconic of the four parks. This is where the true magic of Disney lives. This park is all about being a kid again and getting to feel like a true princess. Or prince. Our time in the park is spent between fantasy and tomorrow, or even a little bit of adventure. My metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? If you have time, you can even snag a highly popular Dole Whip or, for something a little bit more savory, a fancy spring roll before they sell up. All right. Those are so tiny. Cheeseburger spring rolls. So Worth it. <laughs> These were surprisingly good. Josh was so eager to have another that he stalked the cart until we spotted the cast member bringing more. He then casually strolled up and acted surprised that fresh spring rolls had just arrived. I said, do you have any pastrami ones? She goes, we do right now. I'm like, oh, good timing. <laughs> Little you know, I'm sitting over here waiting for it. Hollywood Studios, taking you right into the movies. You can drop in for a stay at the Tower of Terror, Try your hand at Carnival Games and Toy Story Mania, and most importantly, spend some time in Batu and decide if you're on the side of the Jedi or Sith. Want stormtroopers crawling this outpost? Until we have what we need, no one rests. You don't rest. Day two done, my feet are feeling nice and swollen. We did um, Magic Kingdom first and then <laughs> Hollywood Studios. It's all starting to run together. Bright day, tiring. We are tired, our body hurts. I think the best thing was uh, Olga's Canteen. That was that was a lot of fun. Yay! We've tried to get in there before, but you have to have reservations. You can't walk up and it's hard to get. That was, that was probably the most exciting part. It was a very hectic day, but that's the end of our actual Disney parks. Yeah. So tomorrow is Universal. Um, mostly, Two parks one day. <laughs> mostly for Harry Potter stuff. Disney's done until next year. And end of day two. Now it's bedtime. We are up for our last day here. We are headed to Universal. Mel's just finishing up getting ready. Froggy and I'm tired. But this is also probably my favorite park out of everything we do here. So really looking forward to it. Auto sequence start in five, four, three, two, one. Not only did we knock out four parks in two days of Disney, we weren't just quite done yet. We typically add an extra day on to knock out another two parks in Universal. Universal's two parks, unlike Disney's four, are actually attached to each other. You can either walk between them or even take the Hogwarts Express from London directly into Hogsmeade. Taking our very muggle drinks into a very non-muggle place. While there's a lot to do in Universal, we typically tend to spend most of our time within the wizarding world of Harry Potter. The place that every muggle can truly experience the magic of Harry Potter movies, whether hanging out with goblins or drinking everyone's favorite drink, butterbeer.
It's hard not to walk through Hogsmeade or Diagon Alley and not be instantly engulfed by the atmosphere and pulled right into the movies. All in all, we logged about 75,000 steps on this trip, knocked out six parks, and all in just three days. Whether or not Disney or even Universal are for everyone, it's a trip we continue to look forward to and are already planning our next adventure. Now, while enjoy this butterbeer, enjoy some of our other travel videos here. What are you having? Butterbeer. It's all on your stash. It's really just, uh, it's really just, it's really just magical.